Yo, what's up guys? Rollo Dunks are nice here. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. Hope you guys like the new background. I decided to switch it up compared to the shoe boxes that you guys usually see in the background and stuff like that. Yeah, these are my uh, cameras and whatnot. Got a new pickup here, or you could kind of say that because I did vlog about these before. I just never did an actual official video of these. Let's get right into it. Oh, uh, before I get started, there's actually a mirror right behind you guys. So actually you can see now if it's being recorded, focus, audio check, and all that kind of stuff. All basic, all the technical difficulties I usually had that I would always go back and forth, back and forth to double check. Now it's a lot easier on myself. So as I mentioned before, I did get these in my vlog. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll put it up above and in the description down below. These are none other than the 2016 red, black, and red ones. Came with two laces, the red, the white, and the black that's already on the shoe. Just set this aside. Now a lot of videos already have done reviews views on foot early release their comparison and i also did help out alex sneakerhead in the bay with his video when he did these shout out to my dude rollo tenedo jr aka dunks are nice on youtube i'm gonna pass it off to rollo yo what's it guys it's your boy rollo aka dunks are nice here i was asked by alex sneakerhead in the bay to do a quick comparison with the 85 and 94 bread ones let's get into it yeah that video what up alex i just want to get my thoughts on the bread one in the past years and here's the boxes for those i am actually missing are the 2001 with the silver box face the 2008 pair where actually has the strap on the back part 2009 pair that came with the pack and the 2011 actual band pairs with the x on the back and the ones that i'm basically gonna be comparing with the 2016 pair are the 85 94 these are a beater pair this is a replacement box for the beater pair and the 2013 pair this one is the 1985 pair and here's the toe box area along with side by side with the 2016 the collar padding 2016 and the 1985 pair this one's actually not crunching which is really good it does still have the mark of the size along with the production date and here's a 2016 pair with the production date not much of a height difference on the original pair of smooth leather and the recent retro it's a tumbled leather now one thing i did like is how they kept up with the original pair this is actually white but as time goes by it ages and it turns yellow they had the white insole with, along with the nike air which the 2016 pair did as well besides the swooshes and the air Jordan logo and obviously the cracking collar it's still good in my book now for the 94 pair there is a difference in the leather of the red that i did see the 94 pair actually has a new book swoosh like the 2000 one the air jordan logo on a 94 pair is actually smaller compared to 2016 and both do still have that white insole on the back of the tongue it's actually black they did however still put the size only on the 94 pair and went with the regular tag right here in terms of patty the 94 pair is just too thin while the 2016 pair actually has more padding. 94 pair just doesn't have any padding at all. And that's the 94 pair. We're talking about the 2013 release. One thing I did notice about the 2013 pair compared to the 2016 pair was the red is actually more of a flat dull look while the red pops out more compared to the 2013 pair. On the 2013 pair, the Nike swoosh is actually a smooth finish on the Wings logo. On the 2013 pair, it's actually a little bit more smooth. In terms of height, the 2013 is a little bit shorter while the 2016 pair is actually a little bit higher. This little leather patch is actually a little bit bigger on the 2013 pair. On the 2013 pair actually has more padding compared to the 2016. 2013 pair actually has a black insole along with the black tongue and the sizing right here. One thing however I did want to mention is the 2016 actually feels a lot better than the 2013 pair. Now the one question I always did get on the 2016 pair of the bread ones was how's the quality? How do you compare with the 85, the 94, the 2001, 2008, 2009, 2011, 2015, basically the retro previous years. How does it compare to this year? The only complaint I always talk about in a lot of retros, especially ones, is the soles itself. The rubber they're using actually on the midsole and the sole itself. That's the only complaint I actually do complain about when it comes to actually quality. And by that, what I really mean is if you were to get an original pair of 85 or a 94 pair, the midsoles and the rubber that's both used on the 85 and the 94, I don't think they've changed as much. This lasts a very long time on the 85 pair. It's built like a tank. I could wear this about 20 times and then you'll notice a slight heel drag. Along with the 94 pair, maybe a little less to notice it. It's not as tough as the 85 pair, but it's way, way, way better compared to the newer releases pretty sure you guys know exactly what i'm talking about when it comes to the ones on the hill drag or the star portion how it basically disappears it's like a pencil eraser you know you're scrubbing away and it just basically goes by real quick that's the only complaint i have when it comes to retros is the midsole and the rubber it just goes by so fast since i don't have the actual band release from 2011 the quality that's actually on the 2016 pair a lot of people are going to say it's very comparable to the shattered backboard because they actually use the same leather the 85 pair since they're age I can't really determine if it's good or not because it is dry every pair has been stored differently since it's been aged 30 years but if you were to compare it from 
the 85 pair to the current pair, it's still durable. The only question I do have is how long will this leather last compared to the 85 pair? Because it's actually good in my book with this leather. I mean, I did also forget that the fabric they use on the tongue and a collar but that's pretty much it on both the 85 and the 2016 pair along with the thickness they use with the leather it's it's about there now for jumping with the 2001 pair 2013 and the 2009 2008 and all of those other years so using this rubber that basically goes away real fast every single time you wear it now i've worn the 2013 pair for about 10 times now and you can still really see how the rubber is coming off if i were to summarize about this shoe what i like about it i like the quality about it some people disagree i think it's a great release the leather feels good both on the black along with the red it's a good enough padding what i did wish is that the padding did have the same as a 2001 pair because that actually has a real good thickness in the padding although it does come with this nike black and red box it doesn't beat the 94 retro that they did now, if i were to change one thing actually on the shoe it would actually be the swoosh i would really prefer a more smooth leather like the previous retros i think it looks real good that way but then again, it would basically mean that they would have to actually change this leather. And, you know, I'm fine with the leather choice that they use on the swoosh. And I really appreciate how they went with the white insides like the 85 pair. Besides using the same rubber midsole and rubber sole, there's nothing I really could complain about this release. Again, I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up it. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about what's your favorite red one release. What's something you like, something you dislike, what's something you want to change. If I missed something that I forgot to mention, let me know what you guys think down below. Oh, and if you guys like the new background or if I should just go back to the shoe boxes. Hope you guys like this video and as always, it's gonna be good.